Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make sign up sheets. And to get started, go to gmail.com. And once you're there, you're going to want to log in with the ASP account, which is ASP, um, oh, APHA, ASP0, and you should know the password. And then sign in. Once you're signed in, you're going to want to go to the top left here, click Documents. And once that is loaded, you're going to want to create a new form. So you go to Create New, and you're going to create a form. So they're just going to give you a couple of steps. Uh, you just fill out all the stuff. So once you get started, let's t give a title to the form. Let's say it's uh, Operation Diabetes, uh, the screening on January 25th, uh, 2011. And text you can type in instructions, um, deadline to sign up, such and such, whatever you want to put there. On the question title, that would be your first question. Let's start off with, uh, let's say name. Help text, you're going to want, if you want to, that's optional, you can put in um, text to help the person fill out the question, such as uh, in this box, you will type in your name. Okay, so something like that question type, uh, you can have them answer in text. This will be what it shows for the person that's filling out the form. If you if they, if they you think they need more room, you can click paragraph text, usually for um, summaries or something like that. Uh, multiple choice, multiple choice, check boxes, choosing a list. These are all, those are all really good choices for time slots. So if you have a sign up sheet for different slots like let's say 11.35 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. Uh, 12.45 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. something like that so then they can just check which box so you can do that with multiple choice check box or choosing a list so um, you can do any of that and of course you you can make this a required question such as name that should be required so once you're done click done and then you can do the same with the next question. Uh, if you want to add more questions, you would simply go to Add Item up here, then click Text, and you just do the same thing. So once you are done, click Save. Okay, and once it's saved, you can just exit this form. So you can just get rid of that. Uh, then the form will show up. Um, I think you need to refresh it. So, uh, let's just exit that screen and go back into documents again. So there you go. Then it showed up. Uh, here it is. Click it. And there's your uh, questions that you made. Now this is the raw data form. This is where all the data goes once someone enters um, information in the form. So to see what your form would look like, just simply click on form, uh, go to live form, and this will be what it'll look like. So let's let's do an example. Let's say your name is Brian. Uh, sample question, um, I don't know, just blah. Okay, so let's say you're done. Click submit, and there you go. That's That would be someone signing up, and what it will look like will be this. The data will be timestamped. Uh, it will show the answer that they put in and such. So what's really nice about this is, let's say that you have three spots open and four people signed up. It will show a time slam and you can sort the data, like when you have a lot of data, and to show which three signed up first. So you can give those people preference and then the fourth person will be an alternative in case one of them don't show up. So that is essentially how you create a form. Thank you very much.